Currently, I'm using my iPhone as my webcam for my source in OBS and in Camera Hub. Now, a lot of people have seen my video in the past on how to use Snap Camera to add filters to your videos. Now you can simply do it with a press on your Stream Deck and you can look like a baby, I guess, or an old man. So there's a lot of options with this filter from Elgato. This is in their Epoch Cam. Currently, I'm using Epoch Cam Pro to use all these filters. I don't know for sure if it's available in just the, the free version of Epoch Cam. It's just worth giving it a try and seeing if that works. And you can see there's, whoa, <laughs> I actually look, I don't look too bad without hair. Leave a comment down below if this is something that you think works for me. Hmm, that's something worth considering. So you can see there's a lot of options with these filters and they're actually really good. This is a great alternative to the snap camera because it's currently been discontinued. It's no longer available and Algado came to the rescue. This is an artificial background blur. This is not utilizing your graphics card because this blur, if I give it a second, now this is just background blur activated in Algado Camera Hub and this does need your graphics card. It needs a 30 series graphics card in order for this black background background blur to work if i turn it off you can see how much it actually makes a difference you know that's something worth considering with that background blur now let me just show you what i'm talking about here if i go to my screen and if i go to effects this is what this blur is doing it's blurring my background it's utilizing my 30 series graphics card and some people are not able to use that so if i go ahead and turn that off go back to my camera and then if i go ahead and turn on the background blur this is doing it through my phone lens on epoch cam so it's not needing my graphics card in order to do this, which is pretty cool. Now, it's not perfect. It's it's definitely not as good as the background blur from Camera Hub itself with using your graphics card, but it's a great alternative. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and disable that and you can see I do have a lot of these filters on my Stream Deck, which also is on the left side of screen here. And I've just go ahead and put these in as the Camera Hub set property. So if I drag in set property, I can choose my iPhone, which is in Epoch Cam Pro. Then I'm just gonna go ahead to AR lens and then I can choose whatever filter I have here, which is in the AR lens option down here in Camera Hub. Now, Elgato has made this super simple and I just switched with my Stream Deck to my main camera. Now I'm gonna add some background blur because I think it looks pretty cool. It does add a slight delay for a few seconds as you could see while I was talking, but once it's done, it's good to go. So I know that a lot of people in the community were trying to figure out how to find a snap camera alternative because they loved the filters that you could do on your face, which is pretty cool and I look like a baby, which is probably a, a fair assumption of my reactions to when I don't get something that I want. People wanted some alternatives and this actually looks really cool. So here it is, Algaro decided to add these in and I saw this from Julian on Twitter, the GM at Algaro, and I was like, wow, this is a great idea. I'm so glad they did this. I can't wait for them to make it available for the Facecam Pro and maybe even the Elgato Facecam. But currently I'm using my iPhone and I think it looks really cool considering that it, you know, the Facecam or a Epoch Cam Pro is like only eight bucks, maybe nine bucks, something like that. It's a really great deal. So there is a bit of this, like you can see this like flickering or it might be focus pulling or focus bumping. You can see it kind of in the screen a little bit. It's It only happens when I have the background blur on, or at least it's noticeable when I have that background blur on using my graphics card. This is the background blur in the effects tab in Camera Hub. If I turn it on, it, it has to refocus, which is understandable, but it does this like thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but if I turn it off, it's good to go. Now it doesn't do that with the Elgato Facecam Pro. I've noticed that this only happens when I use my phone with Epoch Cam. And it might just be because my face is moving around and my phone is trying to continually stay, keep that in focus. And that's probably what it is. And with the background blur on, it's a little bit more noticeable. But if I turn the background blur on using the Epoch Cam app itself, not using my graphics card, the effects tab in, uh, face cam in camera hub then it doesn't seem to be doing it so i'm not entirely sure what that's about either way you know this all looks pretty good anyways so if you want to stay up to date with new technology updates in the streaming industry subscribe and stick around for the future let me know down in the comments below what you want to see next leave a like on the video that would really help it out just push it out to the larger audience i appreciate it i'll see you next time but until then make something great subscribe otherwise i'll cry yeah I, I guess. This filter is really good. It like follows my face even when I rotate it. Wow, that's like super accurate. That's cool.